Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and today's video we're actually going to be taking a look at pretty much the first leak for Season 4 of Fortnite Battle Royale. This is actually the Season 4 Battle Pass challenges for the week 2 of them. Uh, so yeah, this should be a pretty interesting video guys and if you do end up enjoying it, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you want more videos just like this, tips, guides, glitches, all that kind of stuff, including my huge 10,000 V-Bucks giveaway. I've actually got that going on with another YouTuber friend of mine by the name of Seven. If you don't already know how to enter, go into the description below and there will be a link at the very top. Just click on it and it'll give you all of the details on how you can actually apply for the giveaway itself. Uh, but other than that, let's get into talking about the week 2 challenges for Season 4 Battle Pass. Starting off with number 1, which is a very basic one, and pretty much it's going to be a pretty easy one in my opinion, which is search chests in Greasy Grove. And it's that simple, all you have to do is search 7 chests, and that will bag you 5 Battle Pass stars to go towards your Battle Pass. Uh, the next one that we're going to be looking at is a brand new kind of one, and it is Consume Hop Rocks. I'm pretty sure you guys know what these are already. Um, I'm pretty sure the community actually named these things. I mean, I don't think, like, Epic themselves had a name for them. They just kind of waited to see what the community called them. And once everyone called them Hop Rocks, they were like, you know what? Let's call them Hop Rocks. Uh, so that's actually going to be a brand new kind of thing that we need to do. And you're going to have to consume seven of those. And that will also bag you five Battle Pass stars for your Season 4 Battle Pass. So the next challenge that we're actually going to be faced with is deal damage with suppressed weapons to opponents. And for this one, we need to deal 500 damage to opponents with the suppressed SMGs. And that will actually get us five Battle Pass stars. Now, this is actually kind of a sad quest, to be honest. Because a lot of people have been very excited about the P90 weapon and also about just the silenced weapons being removed from the game in general. I mean, like, not many people like them. They're very useless being in chests and honestly, they're just terrible, all round terrible. So it's actually kind of sad that this is actually uh, confirming that suppressed weapons are in fact going to stay in Fortnite Battle Royale for out, uh, or I guess throughout the Season 4 Battle Pass challenges. So that's actually very, very sad. Unless, you know, they actually introduce like some other suppressed weapons sometime down the line. I don't really know, but still, as far as we know, you need to kill with the uh, uh, suppressed SMG. Uh, but anyway, we're now going to move on to the next one, which is dance in front of different film cameras. And uh, for this one, it's pretty, mu pretty much self-explanatory. You just need to dance in front of all of the new movie sets and everything like that. And uh, for this, we actually have to dance in front of seven cameras. Uh, they don't all have to be in the same game. They can be in different games, you know, as long as you die or, you know, win the game or something at the end of it, uh, they will go to counting towards it. And this will actually get you five Battle Pass stars, which is pretty cool. And next, we're moving on to all of the hard challenges that we're going to face in the first two weeks challenges. Uh, this first one is search between a scarecrow, pink hot rod, and a big screen. All you have to do is find one of these, obviously, and that will grant you 10 battle pass stars. And uh, this one's actually pretty easy. I already know the location for this. So if you guys don't already know this, guys, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, as I will have a video out on a guide for this straight away the minute that season two comes out or I guess sorry the uh, week two season four challenges come out yeah yeah um, next one we're gonna move on to the second to last challenge which is explosive weapon eliminations we need to get three of these and they will grant you ten battle pass stars that's actually pretty difficult in my opinion unless they introduce the uh, I guess the high explosives kind of a uh, I guess a LTM again, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but yeah, weapon explosions, that will be pretty difficult in my opinion. Yeah, so I don't know. Best of luck to all of you guys trying to get your hands on a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher. And um, finally, last but not least, we're going to move on to the last one, which is eliminate opponents in Tomato Town. And uh, this one, of course, is another hard challenge. All you have to do is kill three people. And also, that will grant you 10 Battle Pass uh, stars. So, I don't know. I, I'm actually a fan of these ones. I think that all of these are pretty easy. Apart from the suppress weapons to opponents. Of course, with that weapon, you can actually use, like, I, mean, I guess, like, the silence pistol or something like that. I don't know. It's much better than actually using the SMGs anyway. Uh, but anyway, tell me what you feel about these uh, these uh, challenges, guys, in the comment section below. And 
And like I did say, if you're going to have a bit of a problem with the Scarecrow, Pink Hot Rods, and Big Screen one, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. The day the Week 2 Challenges comes out, I will have a video on that, on where to actually find the Battle Pass star. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.